people, be wise and walk with the wise. If the world should go to win the prize, take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation, soul by soul, on a ship proclaim the gospel of hope. This is the vision, achievers, and mission for Christ. An achiever and mission knows what influence he or she needed in this life. You want to be wise? Walk with the wise. You want to be a fool? Walk with the fools. So come now and let us worship our wonderful Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We adore you, Lord. We stand in awe of you. Done so much for me, I couldn't tell it all. Gaha, gaha, gaha. If I had ten thousand tongues, it wouldn't be enough. Gaha, gaha, gaha. Just na nagpapagali. When you heal, you heal completely. Ka nga ha nga ka. Kahit anong sakit, kaya ang pagalingin. Ka nga ha nga ka. What shall I render to Jehovah? For He has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For He has done so very much for me. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. If I had ten thousand tongues, it wouldn't be enough. Ka ha nga ha nga ka. Just na nagpapagaling. When you heal, you heal completely. Ka ha nga ha nga ka. Kahit anong sakit. What shall I render to Jehovah? For He has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For He has done so very much for me. Kahanga hanga ka, pangino on kahanga hanga ka. Kahanga hanga ka, pangino on kahanga hanga ka. Oh kahanga hanga ka, pangino. Panginoon ka hanga hanga ka. What shall I render to Jehovah? For He has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For He has done so very much for me. What shall, what shall I render to Jehovah? For He has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For He has done so very much for me. Let's give praise to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for some God. Amen. Hi, 
there Amers! I am Pasora Charlie and welcome to another episode of Top of the List. I am with my co-host... Hi! I'm Daniel. And I'm Gianna. For today's episode, we will be learning about the three experiences of the Holy Spirit that we can find in the Bible. Always remember, young people, that the Holy Spirit was given to us to be with us forever. Jesus said in John 14 verse 16, And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another helper to be with you forever. So today, we will be learning about the with, the in, and upon experiences of the Holy Spirit. First, the with experience of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is with us before salvation. It says in John 14 verse 17, Even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees Him nor knows Him, you know Him for He dwells with you and will be in you. Yes, He is with us because as God, He is omnipresent, meaning that there is no other place we could go into without the Holy Spirit's presence. It says here on Psalms chapter 139, verse 7, Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? Secondly, the inexperience of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes in us at salvation. It says again in John 14 verse 17, Even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees Him nor knows Him, you know Him for He dwells with you and will be in you. So the moment we received Jesus as our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit dwelt in us. He made our bodies His temple. It says in 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? This explains the reason why we have the Holy Spirit as a guarantee of our salvation. It says here in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 22, and who has also put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. Therefore, young people, let us live in the spirit and not in the flesh. It says here on Romans 8 verse 9, You, however, are not in the flesh but in the spirit, if in fact the spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. Lastly, the upon experience of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has come upon as soon as we have been baptized in the Holy Spirit. It says in Acts 1 verse 8, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. So Holy Spirit baptism is a distinct experience after salvation. Here we can see that the Holy Spirit comes upon a believer and the believer is clothed with power. The initial evidence of the Holy Spirit baptism is speaking in other tongues as the Spirit enables us to do so. It says here in Acts chapter 2 verse 4, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The weaved in and upon experiences of the Holy Spirit are never used interchangeably in the Bible. That's how clear our God is. That's it for our top of the list. Always remember, young people, Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are Achievers in Mission. I'm Pastora Francis and welcome back to Shout Out Aim Edition where we can get to hear you testify of God's goodness in your life as you serve Him well in your campus. Today in our Shout Out, we have two testimonies. First one is from South Campus, Sister Jasmine Rose Benudan, a Go Group leader and also a Cool AIDS ministry member. Hi Jasmine! What's your Shout Out? Hi, my name is Jasmine Rose Dibanutan, Campus Go Group leader in Pamantasan ng Monsod ng Munting Lupa. And I want to thank God because I was reconsidered in PL Moon to study there. Even though I failed the entrance exam, they still gave me second chance. And to all the people who have helped me. And it says in Romans 12 verse 12, 
Rejoice in our confident hope, be patient in trouble, and keep on praying. Whatever we are facing through, uh, we should always pray that God will uh, fill us hope and strength to uh, face all the challenges in life and to successfully surpass it. Truly, God is good. Amen and amen. We are so happy for you, Jasmine. We hope that you continue to be blessed as you study now in the university. Right next is we have here with us Jana Inoferio. She is from the North Campus. She is a former Go Group leader in UP Diliman and now studying in the MSPS program. Hi, Sister Jana. What's your shout out? Hi, I am Jana Inoferio, a former Campus Go Group leader from UP Diliman. So I would like to thank God for two things. So first, I would like to praise God for completely healing my brother from COVID and also for protecting the whole family from the virus. Second, I would like to praise God because I was able to purchase a new laptop with great discount. So let me share this verse to you from 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. So for no matter how many promises God has made, they are, they are yes in Christ. And so through Him, the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. So truly, God fulfills His promises, His promise of provision and healing even in this season. So, so glory to him glory to god amen and amen praise god for that and as we continue truly to follow the lord he is going to bless us i hope that you got encouraged in our testimonies today always remember matthew 6 33 seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you right now let's shout out once again together oh, oh, oh. Welcome to our Amplified segment. I'm Pastor James. So let us open our Bibles in Proverbs 13 verse 20. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. So as the saying goes, tell me who your friends are, I will tell you who you are. So two things I want to share. Number one, young people, Tamer, walk with the wise, become wise. Number two, walk with the fools, you become a fool yourself. Walking with the wise. First thing we need to understand, wisdom is found in God. So walk with God if you want to become wise. James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God. Did you ask God for wisdom today? Did you ask God for wisdom tonight? Amen. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. You see, God will not forsake you of wisdom. God will not forsake you to become wise. So, Amar, what is your decision today? Will you walk with God? Will you ask God for wisdom? You see, the Word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light upon our path. The book of Psalms says. So, we should ask God for wisdom. We should allow the Word of God to direct us into the right path and we will become wise. Wisdom is found, number two, in godly people. Proverbs 27 verse 17. As iron sharpens an iron, so one man sharpens another. You see, if you want to become a wise person, you should be sharpened by another wise person. You want to become godly, you walk with the godly. You ask the godly people to be with you. You join the godly people to be with you. This is how it works, young people. But if you walk with the fools, number two, you will become a fool yourself. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts or ruins good morals. You see, foolish friends will accompany you to foolish things. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. So don't be intimidated or don't be jealous when they have lots of friends and you don't have lots of friends. In school, in university, in the community. Why? 
These are worldly people. They are into the things of this world. The Bible says that the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is holy with God. For it is written, He catches the wise in their craft. And see, this world seems wise. This world seems they know what is right, they know what is true. But the truth and the reality is they don't. You see, you walk with the wise, you grow wise. You walk with the fool to become a fool yourself. So what is your decision today, Amer? What is your decision right now? Will you be jealous of this, of this classmate of yours, these young people in the university who are doing the groupy groupy, doing the selfie thing? Don't be jealous with them. Don't be jealous with them. You walk with the wise. You walk with godly people. Find friends in church. Don't find friends in the university. The Bible says, bad company corrupts good character, ruins good morals. You want to be wise? Walk with God and walk with the wise. Walk with the godly people. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness. I pray for our young people, Lord. Strengthen their spiritual life, Lord. That they will not be jealous. They will not be envious of these young people in their university, in their community, who are doing all the sin stuff, all the things that develops that sinful lifestyle. But Lord, they will take their stand. They will stand their ground. That we are Christians. That we are to be like Christ. Lord, help our young people to always look for godly friends. That he who walks with the wise will grow wise. Father, we worship you and I commit to you, O Lord, our aimers, our young people. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen.